everyone and welcome back to the channel. So as today's title suggests, we're going to be setting up my beautiful little uh, VDS the personal size planner for 2023. I will kind of walk you through all of the inserts that I'm using, all of the deco, the pens that I'm planning on using, and maybe if we have some time and we're not looking at like an 85 minute video, then we're also going to be just setting up at least our January spread. So if that sounds good, then why don't we just dive right in. And of course, this is the first time that we're meeting. How are you? I hope that you're having a fantastic day and you're getting ready for the holidays. My name is Meshi. I'm uh, the person and the voice behind Align Plans and we chat a couple of times a week on this channel and we talk about anything and everything minimalist planning. The idea here is for us to use these beautiful tools in the most intentional way so that it's not just collecting dust, it's not about accumulating the things, but about really using them with intention. So if that sounds good, then you know, you should stick around. Okay, let's talk about this planner first and foremost. This is the from the Touch Me uh, collection from Vanderspeck. I believe this is in a camel. I'm, you know what? Honestly, I'm not even going to attempt to remember what color this is. I will just put the name here. As you can tell, it's this beautiful like orangey brown. I really, really love this, and it is absolutely like one of the softest planners that I have ever had. So this comes in like a personal size, which at this point, if you have seen any of my previous videos, then you would know that I am coming from an A5 size, a Nautique planner that I was using religiously for the last couple of years. And then I decided to kind of downsize a little bit because it just felt like it was just way too much space and I wasn't utilizing it to its full potential. So let's talk about what's happening inside the planner. So as you can tell, it's a six ring planner. And for now, like I have done an initial kind of setup based on just some of the things that came in from May Paper Co as my order. But as of right now, I have actually all of my inserts that have arrived. So I thought that we would kind of go through not only what I'm planning on using here, <clears throat> but also kind of, kind of how I'm planning on just really layering things and all of the good things. So let's talk about first the pockets. So here in this little zippered pouch, I do have a few, I don't have a ton of things here to be honest. This just kind of came in in my order. It says Santa's airmail December 25th, Santa's official mail December 25th, ho ho ho. Super cute, so I'm planning on actually using this. At least one of them, I think I'm going to use it in my journal and then the others, I might just sneak it onto someone's gift. I have this little tape, oh my gosh, what are you? Tape sticky from cloth and paper, some extra like dot stickers from literally from Color Cafe as well as a sticker page. And then I can't remember where I got this from. This is just as clean. I was using this and this one um, from sticker page. I believe they're both actually from sticker page. I was using this to kind of just set up my cleaning schedule. So just kind of stuck them in here. And these are just some extras. Sometimes I use them, sometimes I don't. Sometimes I totally forget that they're even here. And then on the other side in this little secretarial like pocket area, we have a few floral, floral, floral deco from Color Cafe. And the rest, this is all from cloth and paper. These are the dots and these are the, the ellipse stickers. This came in like one of the sub boxes. I never actually ended up using it. So I thought that size wise, this is perfect actually here. So for now, I just kind of stuck it in here. And then we have, I have basically just an extra card from Noted. We have the December card and, um, and also a journaling card from May Paper Co. So I just kind of stuck the two together because I kind of like how this shows up as December. Okay, as you can tell, we have some side dividers. Actually, let me, let me move my keyboard and zoom in. So you can see a little bit better. Here we go. 
So let's first talk about what's kind of here. Um, first we have like an inbox dashboard. I believe this is also from May Paper Co. Half a page, also from May Paper Co. And then here, first we enter into, I did already stick this in just because it kind of made sense. This full 2023 dated insert, this is all from cloth and paper. And you have like a year at a glance, some space for notes. All of the holidays are here for each month. And then we move into the actual monthly. And I, oh, not yet you have sort of like a preview of like, okay, you can set your goals, your intentions, any of the bills. I think here, this is more like good. I think this is way too small of a space for you to write literally anything. So this would be really nice for like icons if you wanted to kind of track anything. And then here's the actual monthly layout, which I really liked it. I really liked how I set up this month. I'll just show you what this month looked like. This is what my monthly looked like and I really liked it. So I'm kind of, I just ended up, you know, just ordering it for the full year. And that's pretty much all I ended up ordering from cloth and paper for, from the Black Friday sale, which I'm quite proud of myself that I'm kind of wheeling back. I'm kind of like, you know, just kind of tracing my steps back and kind of giving other brands a little bit of a chance as well. But I wanted to kind of leave this here. So I have my January, February, and I believe we went all the way up to March. I really like leaving this here quarterly just so that we have that. Oh, there's more little stickers as well. Same, same idea, same place. And then we move into, I added this little dashboard that came in in my last subscription box from Cloth and & Paper. And then we move into our current monthly. And that's sort of where we're at. It's just my monthly that moves into like the weekly, the weekly view. I am not going to continue with this weekly view. I really, it's, it's, it's fine, like it's okay. Not my favorite weekly view. So I will show you what I'm going to be using instead. So the inserts that I bought for the year are from Noted. So Noted has, this is the weekly agenda. And I also have some dailies, but here's the kicker. I also have some other dailies that I have from May Paper Co. And so far that has been working out really nicely. So these are just some undated daily inserts and it kind of gives you like a full schedule as well as your priorities, your to-do list, and then some space for notes, which works really awesome. So I don't mind this, but what I wanted to try instead is something a bit more specific. So as you can tell, so these are undated still, you get the space at the very top of like the day of the week, you can write in your date, priorities, meals, gratitude, full to-do list, little um, graph grid paper. Oh, you can actually see it a little bit better here. And then a section for notes, and then again, so just some blank space. So I think that this layout works really lovely, although it's not that I, I like this as well. Do you know what I mean? I kind of like both. Here, you don't really get the schedule, whereas here you do get the schedule. So I'm going to kind of try out both and see how it goes. And then the other one that I wanted to show you, and let's actually unpack it. This will be the weekly view that I'm planning on using for this year. So this is actually December month in a review. So it gives you some space for reflections. And then this actually starts as of the 28th of December. Does it? No, it starts, am I going backwards? Oh no, wait, the other way it starts here. My goodness, mesh, you're losing it. Okay, you have a year at a glance here, which again, in and of itself, I just, I really love the clean and elegant look. <clears throat> and then we move into January. So you have sort of like an overview, priorities, um, important dates and notes. And now, okay, this begins as of the 26th of December. So 
Again, it gives you on the side some priorities, notes, what to buy, and then a small little tracker. So this kind of comes as a week on two pages, which if you remember, if you've seen any of my minimalist plan with me in my A5, you know that I'm coming from a place where it was over four pages. So it just, I don't know. I just honestly, it, it's not that it wasn't working for me. It was just getting to a point where it's just too much and I just wanted something different. I think we will go all the way up to March again with this. So we will kind of leave off in April. I'm going to use the same package to just kind of put it back. And I wanted to use at least a few of these dailies just to kind of give them a go. I'll use like seven. And I also bought this little, I'm keep calling it little, I don't know why. I also bought this really beautiful dashboard. Even though it says number 21 and it was for like 2021, I still love the look. I kind of don't care that it says 21. It doesn't, it literally doesn't bother me. It doesn't need to say 23 just for me to be happy with it. So I'm, I'm kind of good with that. <clears throat> now, the next thing that I wanted to add is, um, this is from May Paper Co. This is a perpetual calendar, which I thought that would be really nice to use as some form of a tracker. So we're going to add that in as well. And don't mind my voice, this is literally an improvement from where we're coming from. It was significantly worse earlier, a few days ago. So we have January, February, and March. So we'll just, again, add the first three months in. And I also have some grid paper, which I mean, having grid paper, I feel like is like such an essential, such an essential in any planner. That plus just blank note pages, those two are always so handy. I know there's a more delicate way of doing this. Maybe like half, that works. And some accessories that I have going on that I kind of wanted to include as well is basically I picked up these really cute icons from cloth and paper in the color of Verona. So there's that gray color. So we have some hexagons, some dots, uh, some corner stickers, squares, and some tape. So I think that this will just go straight into the inner corner. I do have a couple of um, journaling cards. I mean, I have multiple journaling cards, but these are just like the latest ones. So I thought that I would just include them if I can. And I also picked up, this is like one of my favorite um, memo pad stickies from, from cloth and paper in, um, in Prosecco. I love that you can date them and then you can kind of write your little note on there. So I actually ended up using up like a full package of this before. So I just kind of restocked it and we can just use at least a few of them at the front. So. Now that I've unpackaged everything, let me just move this to the side and I'll show you like what else we have. So we have some dated and that kind of goes on for a little while. Then we have some debt payment repayment um, inserts. And this is the latest insert that I received. Um, this was like the self-care insert. So I really wanted to include that. And I think I'm still going to leave this, but I'm gonna leave this in the back. And I also have another self-care insert. This is from May Paper Co. that I already started kind of filling out. This feels very, 
I want to say this is very like aligned with like how I kind of think about self-care and how I kind of want to like guide people to like find their own self-care practices, which I really like. So I don't know, this feels like really, really well thought out if you ask me. So it has some, basically I'll just show you guys in case you're not familiar. So we have some introduction where you kind of look at like what, like you kind of write down like what self-care means on a physical and a mental health wise and on a spiritual basis. And then what might get in the way and how can you minimize those barriers? Then you have some rituals and how frequently you wanted to do those rituals per week. Then you kind of create like an actual routine for the full week. And then these are some affirmations that you can kind of work with or you can literally come up with your own. Then you have some habit trackers for 30 days. You have a 28 day challenge, which is really cool. And then the 30 day, I believe that, that, yeah. And then you have year and pixels. And I'm, I've seen so many people kind of come up with this and this always looks so cool. So part of me kind of wants to try it. Let me just move this candle. Part of me would really want to kind of try this out and see how this would look by the end of the year, see if I can kind of stick with it. And then just ways that you can kind of be proud of yourself and like writing down your accomplishments, some positive memories, gratitude prompts, and reflection and some notes. And then we move into the habit tracker, which again, I have a few of these. I'm actually using the habit tracker, not as habits, but I'm using it as my kids cleaning schedule. So I have weekly and daily cleaning schedule for both of my kids. And I just kind of wrote them here as a habit tracker because you have the weekly layout. I find that it works really well. And this is sort of like their template. And then we have this little add on pocket that just has a couple of um, journaling cards. And that's it. And then the rest, I tried using the debt repayment. I don't know. This is just an extra note actually. And then we have a Christmas list. And I also have an insert that has all of the, um, all of the numbers. I don't know if I will use that actually here in this planner. I think I might actually use this. This would be really lovely in my Hobonichi. Uh, I feel like we can try this in the weeks, but it would also probably look really nice in the the Hobonichi, the A6 Techo. So we can kind of take a look. And then we just have a journaling card here and another like accenting uh, dot sticker. So let me put some music on and I will take this apart and then we'll put it back together. And then after that, we will meet at the very end. So let's go.
should also mention, I didn't tell you this, but with the where the debt payments are, so this is also, I purchased, I purchased a dated, um, no, not a dated, but I, I purchased a downloadable uh, insert from Noted. That's like a full finance bundle, which I'm also planning on adding in. I just, I honestly, I just haven't actually printed them yet. We're getting there, it's okay. is getting chunky not too too bad like you can tell that there's still there's still space not much space but there's a little bit of space left oh shoot that's too many things we'll just add this I knew I had some some pretty sticky notes I think I'm going to just put this in the very back. Yes, I don't mind this, this looks really pretty. And then I can put this at the back as well. That looks so pretty. I wonder if this, I hate that these don't fit. You know what I mean? Like it would fit like this. I know that these are like more designed for like larger planners. Even this one, this looks really cute too. This is what came in in my, this is from Michelle from Noted, but like look how cute this is. And I can't fit it in. Anyway, this is how she looks. Like, look how pretty this is. And it's like chunky and cute. Oh, I love it. So this is sort of like the finished look, so to say. This is all I wanted to share with you. I Part of me wants to add more sticky notes here. Part of me really loves this layering situation that's happening. And I know that I'm probably going to be like messing with this each month. I'm going to just add this. To, it will just go somewhere but I really like this this was actually from my order from 
This was one of my orders from Cute Things from Japan. This was one of my journaling supplies orders and I absolutely love it. I think it looks super cute. This is all I wanted to share with you. I hope that you have enjoyed this video. If you did, you can give it a thumbs up. You can also subscribe to the channel if you have not yet already. Thanks so much for watching you guys and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.